This video will demonstrate how to share a Google Doc within and outside of our organization. In the upper right corner of your document, you'll find the blue Share button. You'll see that it shows a lock, which means the document is private to me. Hovering your cursor over the blue Share button verifies this setting. Click on the Share button to open a pop-up window that allows you to share the document with others. If you want to share the document with specific people in our organization, begin typing the name of the person here and choose from the pop-up names. Everyone in our organization should have a TCA Docs address. If you want this person to be able to edit the document, leave this pencil icon showing. You can also designate the person to have commenting or viewing rights only. You may continue adding names here When you're finished, click the blue Send button. These people will now see the document in their Shared With Me drive. You may also choose to send the document URL to the person via email or text. Notice the blue Share button has a different icon now. If you hover over the button, the message has changed. In addition to sharing with specific people, you have other sharing options. Click on the blue share button and then click on advanced. In this window, we see the owner of the document and the specific people with whom the document has been shared. Notice also the additional owner settings here. The first option is especially important. You may want to prevent those collaborating with you on this document from share, changing the share settings or adding new people to the document. In that case, check this box and save the changes. You can also share the document more widely by clicking on the word change. This opens another window with more options. If you are on staff, you should see all these options. If you are not on staff, you will only have the bottom three options, which all require logging into a TCA Docs account. So which do you choose? Here are a few examples. When sharing a document with students, choose the Classical Academy or anyone at the Classical Academy with a link. Since all students have TCA Docs accounts, this is the best option. If you have a document that you want both parents and students to access, you should choose anyone with a link. Since parents do not have TCA Docs accounts, they would not be able to view a document if you chose one of the Classical Academy only links. In both cases, let's click one of these. In both cases, make sure you choose the can view option unless you specifically want them to be able to comment or edit the document. Go ahead and let's pick this one. Go ahead and click save here. On this next window, verify your settings. Make sure you have um, everything set the way you want in this case. I am the owner, two collaborators can edit, and anyone who has a view, who has the link can view the document. Once you're set, click done. And then you can hover over your um, blue button here to verify that you have them set correctly. If you chose anyone with a link or anyone at the Classical Academy can view, you may copy the URL and paste it into a school G assignment page or message or into an email to share with your recipients. You may also return to the document and change the share settings at any time. 